when I was in training or in my residency, we got very alarmed when a woman had a diagnosis or a finding of HPV, which is human papillomavirus. Now, many years later, we are realized and we're of the impression that almost all women and men who have been sexually active at some point in their lives is going to acquire an HPV virus from someone else because it's a sexually transmitted virus. So now that we realize that almost everyone has had it, we tend to feel not as alarmed, except we get alarmed about specific situations. So because the pendulum has kind of swung as far as how worried we are right now, there are a couple of ways that HPV in general can affect the outcome or the prognosis in a pregnancy. One way is that HPV also causes something called genital warts. So that is a certain strain of the HPV virus that can cause warts, very much like warts that grow anywhere else on your body, but they grow in the genital area. And I've seen not too often, but it is certainly possible that if they grow around the vaginal area and would be so big or so obstructing as to not enable someone to have a vaginal delivery, that's one way that HPV can affect a vaginal delivery because it can't deliver through an area with lots of HPV or lots of, of large vaginal warts in the area, even though they can be removed, it can leave that area not the best place for a baby to pass through for a vaginal delivery. So that might prompt someone to say that they might need a C-section. So that's one way. The other way is that when someone is newly pregnant, we often do a pap smear at the first visit. And one of the things that we do on a pap smear is we are looking for abnormalities on cervical cells, but we also look for the presence or the absence of the HPV virus. If we find presence of the HPV virus at that first visit, well, this woman is already pregnant. So it's at least something that we need to keep an eye on throughout the pregnancy, but we wouldn't normally do our usual workup that we would do in a non-pregnant person, which would be to possibly biopsy the cervix. So in pregnancy, if we find HPV, if it's not causing major problems on the cervix or abnormal cells, we just surveil it during the pregnancy and look again after the delivery. But if it is causing problems, that that person may need some treatment even during pregnancy, which may affect the outcome of their pregnancy as well. 